caring for children with special needs is, is um, it can be challenging. It can be challenging, but it is very fulfilling. These, these kids, of course, they're kids. They're humans, just like us. They have lives, they have things they love, things that they like doing. They have, uh, sometimes they have more challenges, of course, uh, but this is a place that helps meet those challenges and give those resources. The mission of respite care is incredibly important to me because really it fills a gap that no other organization in San Antonio or really even South Texas fills. When they come to us and we explain all the services that we have and, and having a nurse on site and having teachers who have been here 20 plus years, um, you just, you see the relief, <laughs> the weights being lifted off their shoulders like immediately. When we finally got him into respite care, this is not an over-exaggeration, it felt like a little slice of heaven yeah. because he was finally around a place, around people that understood him and that he got to just play and play and play and grow and learn and, learn and it just he just blossomed we got a call that there was an immediate placement needed for a child that was nine days old a baby uh, that was drug affected and the baby was experiencing drug withdrawals we helped the baby go through drug withdrawal and also enrolled the children in all of the therapies that they needed. Respite Care is the only shelter for children with special needs in all of Texas. So Respite Care receives children from Corpus Christi, from Houston, from all over the state. So when you're giving to this organization, um, you really are supporting not just San Antonio, but the entire state. To the parents of Respite Care, you're doing a great job. Your kids are in the best of hands. And so I know that times must be really tough for you and continue to be tough for you, but you have help and you have people who love and care for your children and the community who loves and cares for your children. Knowing that I could help make a difference or nurture and care for this child like they had not been, that's really fulfilling. One of the really unique things about respite care that I don't think a lot of people understand is it really has a dual function. One, it has um, in the only 24-hour uh, shelter that has 24-hour staff for people with special needs, but it also provides a Mother's Day Out and a daycare for people who live in San Antonio and have children with special needs. He had a preschool evaluation and he scored just as high as a typical child on his learning abilities. His only problem is his speech, his lack of speech. But we attribute that to respite care. When we got the word that we had um, went through our Texas Rising Star recertification and we actually scored a four, which is the highest score that you can get, I think that was really joyous for me. We've chosen not to go through preschool and keep him here at respite care just because of the love and the routine and the amount that he's learning is we feel adequate for, for his age. Not only are you helping your community out, but it's an amazing feeling when you get back. Mm -hmm. uh, and it becomes kind of something that actually becomes addictive. And you just try it. Just try to get back and think about the impact that you're making in somebody else's life. Sean Elliott and Claudia Zapata have donated back to the community for a long time. And to be a recipient is truly an honor. Their support is going to affect the lives of many children and many families. We might have to fix this, right? Oh. You know, it may not be the world that we thought we would be living in, but it's a whole different world that's it's a lot beautiful. more beautiful. Yeah.